Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're back with a opinion and news sort of video. And you might have heard about it, but Photokina uh, has been suspended. And by suspended, a lot of people have assumed that it's basically canceled for good. If you don't know what Photokina is, Photokina was a trade show for photography made in uh, Cologne, Germany. And it's, I think, over 70 years old. And I've gone to the last two editions. And that to me was basically the staple of what became my career as a YouTube and content creator and whatever I you want to call me. Um, when I went to the Photokina in 2016, my YouTube channel was only like six months old. I had like a thousand subscribers or less and I spend uh, a lot of money to just go. And why did I go? Uh, at the time, the news were not a thing. I did not do the news show yet. But I really felt like there was not a lot of people talking about what was happening in the film industry. And I wanted to go there and document it. Everybody was going to Photokina to talk about the new latest and greatest Sony or Fuji, Nikon or whatever it was. But nobody was going there to talk to Kodak or Cinestill or whatever there could be back then. So I went there with a trashy microphone that I tested at home that actually ended up being really bad because I didn't understand sound and it would pick up all the sound so there's just you could hear everything but the person being interviewed and that, that photo kina i interviewed keith canham uh Sinistil brothers i interviewed jobo i interviewed burger i interviewed arzimago cat labs and so many other companies hayland electronics and kensley and stuff like that and when i went i also met camera rescue and when i met camera rescue they were still not called camera rescue they were the previous uh startup that they did and they were looking for people all over the world that were into film and it really fit, fit my description. So I met Yuho and the team there and it was really important for me. And um, years later, 2018 went by, my YouTube channel was bigger, the news were a thing, I was talking to industry, those communications I had at the first Photokina were important and that became uh, Photokina 2018. I did Camera Rescue TV, which I'll link below. There's a whole playlist. I think we interviewed like 19 people, including Kodak Laris that announced uh, Ektachrome. It was a huge uh, success. And uh, Photokina 2020 got canceled due to the fact of what's going around the world with the pandemic. And uh, Photokina basically has uh, said they're suspending. So there's many things to be taking out of this. First of all, we all know that photography is uh, slowly losing the race to, uh, well, let's say proper camera photography is losing the race towards photography. Photography has become mainstream with cell phones having cameras, just like the one I have here. Uh, you take a picture and for many years, the most, sold, most used camera and uploads on Flickr has been iPhones. So yeah, cameras are selling less and less every day. Sony's, Nikon's, Canon's, whatever it is. So Photokina has been shrinking slowly. On top of that, nowadays with the internet, thank God for the film industry, but that's a different topic. We have camera announcements all over the place. So when Sony releases the A7S III or the A7S 65, they send them to a bunch of YouTubers, content creators, make their own public statement. They don't need a Photokina. A trade show used to be the place where everybody would gather and they would see a new announcement. But nowadays, you just release a camera and that's it. Like Polaroid's been making new cameras and they're not going to Photokina to announce it. They just put their newsletter and boom, it's on Petapixel, a couple of vlogs, maybe a YouTube channel or two, and everybody knows about the cameras. So that being said, uh, Photokina in the digital world had been decreasing. Then Photokina decided to make it annual instead of biannual, uh, which was, I think, a mistake because it was really expensive for being a trade show. I think the price for a square meter was around 400 euros, which is a lot of money for some startups. Of course, Canon, Nikon, Sony probably didn't have a big problem, but still is a big budget. Uh, I think Canon had a whole warehouse uh, in the Photokina. And then uh, the pandemic. So. We can't see big gatherings. The digital world was decreasing in size and also announcing whenever they wanted by their own means without having to pay that tax for Photokina. And basically that made Photokina disappear. To me, it was really sad because when I went in 2016 and we were talking about film photography, there was really, you know, film was still there. There was, but like things were decreasing. There was emotions getting canceled, companies uh, going bankrupt and so on. So it was still very, very tender in the regrowth of film or resurgence. But 2018, when I went the second time, uh, 
everybody was excited. There was people with passion. And the thing with film photography nowadays is that most of the companies that are run uh, selling film are people that are passionate about it. Because if you really were there to make the, you know, a good living, you probably would be doing some other sort of photography, maybe not so much film photography. And yes, it's becoming more popular every day, but like the feeling we all had, and Yuho was there, and uh, the Sinistil brothers were there, and Adox Mirko were there, like all these people that had been there in previous years and iterations, Jobo, Heyland, noticed that there was a huge amount of like more people coming in with cameras, film cameras on their necks, more people asking for film, more people asking for, like everything was more popular. So it was becoming like a hub for film and we had like a film and beer meeting and we all drank and we had food. And it was really fun. It was like a big community in person. What happens now is now with Florquinas being officially suspended, there's no one place to gather. And the best part about film photography, apart from sharing, is meeting people in person. That's how I've met all these companies and I've met all these people in person, uh, followers, subscribers, whatever it is, magazines, anything like that. Uh, now there's nothing like that. So uh, the show in the UK, the photography show was gonna become a hub for film photography, but of course got canceled in 2020. I was really excited. I actually had to cancel my trip the day before flying. Uh, and Yuho was already on the road on the way to Forokina, I mean Forokina, the photography show in uh, Birmingham, UK. So hopefully when things get a little better, we will find a hub. I think we as film photography community, we need a place to gather, to talk. And the good thing about Forokina is that in one place you could talk to a distributor in Asia and you could talk to a film company in Russia or you could, whatever it was, they were there. And that's what made it so, so special for me being so related to the, com the the industry and being so happy to talk to companies and tell them what my ideas were and they would tell me their ideas and I would talk to them and give them feedback. Having a place like Photokina was really important. So I just wanna say uh, as an opinion that I'm really sad that it's gone. I think that a lot of people don't understand what the, the real meaning is that Photokina is canceled and that we really need a place to talk. I know that the darkroom, for example, in the UK made a special, in the US, sorry, made a special edition of the what they called for, uh, Film Padilla, uh, and that was really fun for the US, but I think we need something that could be a bit more global and we can all get together. Actually, Philip from the darkroom, I met him at Photokina 2018, amazing man, really nice and really, you know, open to talk about film photography, really passionate about it. So yeah, I think, um, I hope there's a new initiative. I hope there's something that we can gather again once that we all can get together in the same room at the same time safely. But yeah, I really feel really sad. It really kicked off my career as what I do. I'm about to take the leap and make a living off photography only, not normal job because I do have a normal job from 40 hours a week. So yeah, that was really the stepping stone and meeting people like the camera rescue, camera store people and all the industry really made the difference. So yeah, what do you think about Photokina being canceled? What's your impression about the film photography community? I do think we need a melting pot kind of space to talk and meet, uh, hopefully soon. And yeah, just my little opinion, little news, sad stories and uh, whatnot. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know uh, what you think about this. Uh, you would have gone to Photokina, you knew about Photokina. Are you interested in hearing about stuff? And I know I do the news, but Photokino is just so fun. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.